Neil, thank you for being with us. No worries. Thank you for having me. Great to have you here. Uh, how did you first get involved with uh, Stargate SG-1? Oh, wow. Long story. Um, about eight years ago, um, my agent called me up, Time and Stewart, and he said, you know, we have this, uh, an audition for you on this great show. It's going to be huge. And they sent me a script and I looked at it. And I, and I mean, I, I was really young, but I could still see, you know, huge potential in Ryak and, and the show itself. And of course, I'd watched the feature film, so I was really excited in doing it. Went down, auditioned for Lynn Carroll, was the casting director at the time, and uh, never looked back from there. Really? Yeah. So you've been on board ever since? Yeah, since, since the first season. <laughs> Are you uh, yourself a fan of sci-fi? Yes, I am. Totally. Um, I guess it's a little bit of escapism for me, uh, which is, you know, inherently why I act get away from reality every once in a while. So I think sci-fi is a little more interesting and allows you to use your imagination a bit more. What's your particular uh, uh, sci-fi shows that you uh, that you particularly find yourself latching onto? Um, I was really into, well obviously Stargate. Uh, I liked the premise of Seven Days that was on UPN. Mm -hmm. That was a cool show while it lasted. Um, in terms of, you know, kind of edgy stuff, hmm, let's see what I mean, it, it's kind of hard to say. You know, I, I don't watch that much TV. Being involved in acting, you kind of learn to see a little bit through the tricks. If I had to pick a particular sci-fi show besides Stargate, let's see, what would it be that I personally watch? Um, hmm. Hard to pin it down to just one. I mean, I, I, like to, I like to watch Andromeda late at night. That's a cool show. I think they're doing cool stuff with that. Um, I know there's one that I'm missing, and I know think it's going to come to me later on the day, and I'm going to hate myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I, uh, did, I did a sci-fi show for YTV, so every once in a while that boosts my ego, I watch that. <laughs> um, you being the son of a main character, mm -hmm. was it pretty? Uh, were you told that this could easily be recurring? Yeah, well, we. I pretty much had a clear idea that you know. You know, barring me doing a horrible job and getting killed off by the writers, that yeah, Ryak had a, a, a potential to be recurring. Um, I've been lucky in the fact that you know they've given me many an opportunity to be on the show in terms of plot, with the direction they've taken the plots. You know, Chris Judge is nice enough to write me into a couple episodes. Mm -hmm. He's a great work. He's a great writer, so it's nice working with the scripts. You, uh, you've technically been in six episodes, Redemption one and two. Mm -hmm. uh, which would you consider to be your personal favorite? Hmm. Tough question. Um, you know, Ryak as a character is developed, you know, in every episode that, he, that, he, that I'm on, that, you know, I try and, you know, learn from the experience and try and bring something to the character. So I'd say the last episode that I did, Sacrifices, overall, you know, I, I got to be a little bit more involved, you know, in terms of the action. My character got developed a little bit more and mm -hmm. married. So I'd have to say that that was definitely my favorite episode because it, it brings the story along, you know. And